So in the previous video, we were setting up that answer logic. Uh, now we're identifying winners and losers. So we brought in our logic. If our global correct equals four, well, what do we want to have happen? Well, we want to use our notifier now. So we're going to come up here and we're going to show the alert message. Uh, and I'm just going to grab a text block from here. I don't know, winner, right? We could also use that text to speech to say, oh, don't want to add a comment. We can say winner. Now, we can duplicate this. And you know what? If it's incorrect, equals two in that value. We can call it to say loser. We could also call the text box to say loser. Now we really don't have a reset button in this game. And that's something, again, you could develop in your specific game. Uh, but I'm just going to program it really quick here. So I can come up here and reset the game if we lose. So I'm going to set global incorrect and duplicate global correct back to zero. So that'll reset us on our score variables. Then I also want to set my text. So I have that up here. I can duplicate this, set my correct text to display, duplicate here, set my incorrect text to display. And I could drop that in. And I could also uh, set my global index here if I wanted to return the user when they lose back to that first question. Now, this isn't the greatest in terms of being able to you know, reset the game or show it, but it's something that's functional for this app. And when you develop your quiz, you we can look at. So I don't know if my emulator is still running. Uh, let's see if I can refresh that screen. And here we go. It just took a little bit to load. We can see, I'm going to say Milwaukee and get this correct. I'm going to submit and we can see it's correct. I can click next and it advances me to my next one. And again, uh, running on this emulator, not having it preloaded, it's just taking a long time for those images to pop. But we can see that the app is working correctly. So I hope this gives you a good jumping off point for you developing your own app.